Lawmakers are running out of time to pass another virus relief stimulus package before Congress goes on break for the holidays. Now a major point of debate, which I think is silly, is whether the government will offer us Americans another round of stimulus checks. A 908 billion bipartisan proposal would leave out stimulus payments, focusing instead on providing unemployment workers with an additional $300 in weekly unemployment aid. Now on December 8th, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin proposed a $916 billion package that would provide provide stimulus checks worth $600 per person, although it would cut back on unemployment aid. Mnuchin said his offer includes funding for state and local governments, as well as the liability protections McConnell is assisting on, which would shield businesses, schools, and other organizations from lawsuits charging them with failing to protect people from the virus. However, Mnuchin's offer would also cut unemployment aid from the $180 billion proposed by the bipartisan bill down to $40 billion. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, if you could do me a favor and tap that like button, it helps me out a lot. All right, Joe at Oz, when it comes to unemployment benefits versus stimulus checks, if you ask me, we need both. Unemployed definitely need some assistance and most Americans need additional financial assistance, so the stimulus checks are necessary and would help the overall economy. Now, some senators, including Bernie Sanders, are insisting that any new relief bill will include another round of $1,200 checks, which is the same amount that we got under the $2 trillion CARES Act passed earlier this year. Senator Sanders stated this week, and I quote, what I don't understand is that at this time, when in many ways the crisis is worse today than it was in March, why we are not responding accordingly. We must make certain that every working family in this country receives a $1,200 direct payment plus $500 for their kids. Again, Joe Oz, I agree 100%. This is something that should not be politicized. Many parts of the country are shut down again and right before the holidays. We have record unemployment and signs of a slowing job growth as indicated by the latest jobs report. But Congress should be working together to get a deal done for the American people. Senate leader Mitch McConnell accused Democrats this past week for what he called efforts to delay new relief. So Mitch McConnell wants more narrow legislation of about $500 billion, which would be based around paycheck protection program and loans for small businesses. It would not include additional federal unemployment benefits or direct stimulus payment. Now McConnell did offer this week to drop liability protections for corporations as well as the state and local aid from talk. Now, both of these have been areas of disagreements between the Democrats and Republicans. Now, Democrats are insisting states and local cities will need aid to deal with the pandemic and assist with vaccine distribution, while Republicans are insisting on liability protections for businesses so they cannot be sued. Now, Democrats rejected the trade-off this week due to worries that states or cities will have to lay off first responders as well as teachers without any additional federal help. Now, this back and forth bickering on Capitol Hill over how much money to send to us Americans followed more troubling economic news. With that being said, guys, initial jobless claims jumped to 853,000 this past week, which is the highest since September. We still have 19 million people who are still receiving some form of unemployment benefits, and millions of people are now lining up at food banks all across this country. If you ask me, this is just very, very sad. We as a country can do so much better. Additionally, Joe Dawes, at the end of November, more consumers said that they were feeling a financial impact from the virus pandemic. Six in 10 people stated this is the second consecutive monthly increase of hardship, according to a new survey from TransUnion. And as I mentioned earlier, guys, job growth around the United States had a drastic slowdown in November, which raises serious concerns that our economic recovery is losing steam. Matter of fact, new data is indicating that the economy may need up to five times more money than what lawmakers are considering to return to pre-pandemic levels. The Groundwork Collaborative, which is a progressive economic think tank, found that a stimulus package worth three to 4.5 trillion would be required for American businesses and workers to work at their full potential and get the real unemployment rate to fall back to three and a half percent. Now, Mark Paul, who is a political economist stated, and I quote, we need stimulus and we need it fast. Every day that we wait, we risk disenfranchising more people from the economy. Every day that we wait, more people are facing evictions and falling behind on bills. Comment below on your thoughts, but I agree 100%. And my heart goes out to each and every one of you guys who's been negatively impacted by the virus pandemic. I mean, things are crazy out here, no doubt. Now, 
Now, restaurant owner Stephanie Bonin made a statement to Money Watch and it rings true. She stated, and I quote, Our COVID-19 numbers are bigger than ever and the scale of this pandemic is almost limitless, but the aid is not. So whether it's PPP, whether the stimulus checks, one by one they've dried up and nothing else has been put in its place. December 26th feels like a ticking time bomb. Now just so you know guys, as far as December 26th, she's referring to the date when unemployment aid is set to expire for 12 million unemployed workers. She also stated, and I quote, none of it's enough, whether it's $600 or a one-time $1,200 check, None of it's enough to answer the need out there. Comment below, Joy Dawes, do you agree with her comments on the current economic situation? I really wish I had better news to report to you guys. I mean, the politicians need to get their act together and pass something for the American people. They are playing with the livelihood of millions of Americans and right before the holidays. Again, my thoughts and prayers are with everyone as we deal with this virus pandemic. If you found value in the video, please be sure to tap that like button and share it with others. It really helps to support and grow the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as I'm posting valuable new content every week. Thanks again for watching and until next time.